Good afternoon, Mormon Medic 1. Today I have a Toro Recycler on the bench with a Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, I'm going to show you how to replace the starter cord without uh, taking the whole engine apart or taking the starter off. I've done it like this for years and this only works though if your spring is good and uh, you know it's got enough tension. You can actually go one more round if you want to but the first step you want to do is to take the rope disconnect your spark plug so it doesn't try to start. <clears throat> Go ahead and remove this cover right here. It's held on by two screws. Go ahead and take your starter rope and you won't be replacing the little the knot. I don't never replace that on there. But just take your rope and pull it all the way out. Like that right there. Okay? And now, what you want to do, oops, sorry about that. As you can tell, this rope is about to break right there. So, get you a screwdriver and find you a spot in this starter to where it won't let it turn too much. So like right there, let's try right there. Okay, so now we've got the starter stationary let's try to go one more round here how about right there that's perfect right there okay now you want to scream at me but this will not hurt this starter I want you to take a pair of dikes and I want you to nip this out right here To where you can get to the starter rope. Now, you can take the starter out like that, and there's a rope. As you can tell, it was fixing the break. Go ahead and snip off the rope right here. Get you about eight foot of number 4.5 rope, and I want you to take and burn the ends on it and make a point like that. Now, you're going to feed it through the eyelet, and you're going to try to hit that starter hole right there. Take your pair of needle nose and pull it up. Tie you a figure eight knot in it. Go ahead and pull out your screwdriver, and everything should come in. Good to go. Put your cover back on. Tighten down your two screws and you've just done a starter repair in less than five minutes. If you have any questions about how to do starter repairs on the machine without taking it apart, let me know. More Medic One. You'll have a good day.